好，这个没发。I got a problem. I got a problem. Alright guys, if you guys saw the opening clip, I was tired of having my hoppers jam mid-tournament. It seemed like more and more and more jamming both on the rotor and the TFX, and a lot of it was just bad paint, but sick and tired of it. No one with a Spire had the issue, and so this guy, this is Bunker King's Control Hopper. I got on at the Kickstarter, or this bad boy up, Spire 3 Drive System. That's that's a plus. It's a well-tested system. It's robust. It, speed, it, it feeds well. It's just incredible. 200 round capacity so small form factor I can't believe how small this guy is they're claiming 200 rounds we'll see how that is um, they also claim angle indicator and most perfectly balanced so you have to be determined on that I loaded it up this weekend shot it in the backyard seemed okay can't wait to take it on the field once I get the ramps and the speed feed see how it does in the airball field um, angle indicator that will be a feature to test because I don't know if that's going to be a gimmick or not so We'll turn it on, and the button's at the bottom over here. There's no way this guy's turning on in your gear bag, unlike the rotor, which can get bumped, or the, especially the TFX. I think that was the worst one of the ones I have. It's got the angle indicator right here. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Of course, there's no pain in it. It's going to keep going, but you can watch the angle indicator, and you see it when it turns green. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because that's annoying the shit out of me. Probably you guys too. Lid pops open and you can switch it out with no tools, which I think is just freaking awesome. Pressing the locking tab, lid comes right off. So, rainy day, no tools required. I think it's pretty slick. Or if you break it, whatever the case may be. Top comes off, which I like. You can keep the lid closed. You don't have to open the lid to get it off. Uh, if you have to keep paint in the hopper, clear jam, whatever, I like that feature. I like that option. We got the bottom tray. We've got the gear the gear system right here. It lifts right up. It's held in by a magnet on either side. This is not very tall. It's pretty cool. I like that. It's got a nice good system over here for collecting all the balls. It's got a ramp right here. It's gonna pivot. Rear one right here, rear one right here. Again, they are in order. Drive system is magnetic. Soft rubber paddles on there, and this thing is highly configurable as well. So we've got lots of settings over here. We can adjust our angle indicator, which you can do with the loader on um, through the power button, which it's not just a simple on or off. If you go to turn it off with just one press, you're going to set the angle indicator versus actually deactivating it. you got to press and hold it to turn it off. Configure button over here makes it easy to go through everything. We'll turn it on and see the LEDs. We'll hit the configure. You can see the LEDs moving. So what we've got on the bottom there, we've got angle indicator. You can change it from three AAAs to lithium ion in charge battery system. You get a sensitivity, you get the LED on and off, and then you've got the pressure for the pressure stack. Um, so very configurable, right out of the box, this thing comes set up to work with any marker. So you don't have to, you can tweak it, but again, you do not have to. One locking tab in here, or one tab to slide in on the bottom tray. Locks back in place with the magnet. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. But let's look at the form factor size. So, if you guys look, that's what everybody wants to know. How's the profile on it? It is definitely smaller than a rotor, which is pretty slick. If we compare it like this, about the same size lengthwise. 
Rotor, obviously a lot heavier. These guys are absolutely indestructible. Let's take a Spire. This is a Spire 1. A little bit longer, more of a point at the end, at the nose. But when you get down into the height of it, a little bit shorter, not too much. TFX. TFX is a little bit taller, again, not a huge amount. The TFX comes down to more of a point in the back, otherwise they'd be about the same length. <clears throat> so, took this guy out in the backyard. It held up 15 balls per second. I had no problems with it. We'll get some good field testing on it um, once the ramps arise, once the speed feed. I want to see how balanced it is on the marker. I think the TFX felt like it was a little heavier in the back. The rotor just feels heavy and makes your marker feel lopsided. And this fire seems to be fairly well balanced. Lightweight. Doesn't feel like it's too back heavy. So proven drive system on it. But, you know, aesthetically, this guy has a lot of attention to detail. I hope the functionality holds up as well as they, you know, put as much thought into the design of the shell with everything in it. I hope the uh, functionality is there as well. But, again, based off the Spire, the drivetrain, should be trouble free. Okay, got the Bunker King's control hopper mounted on. You can hear the uh, you can hear the load of spinning every time you touch it. If you lift it from the lid on the corner back over here, it opens a lot easier. Directly back here, it takes a lot more force, and you can see the hopper lifting up. But from the corner, it opens up much easier. Had a lot of give in there. If it doesn't break, not a big deal. Time will tell on that. Again, no ramps in this guy. Do a full review on it later after get some uh, field testing on it. But this initial run through. Not bad. It holds up 15 BPS. Press it for two seconds to turn it off. If you tap it quickly, you set the angle indicator. All right, guys. Well, that just about wraps it up for today. The ramp should show up this week. Get them on there. Get it tested, field tested. Do a little bit more in-depth review. But so far, so good. Again, proven drive system. It's just the other little things. How are they going to work on the field? We'll see you around. Thanks.